Hi everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on TC11 from BeatShape. Um, I have a number of codes to give away, so do please check the video description on how to participate to the giveaway and also to check who the winners are. And TC11 is a fantastic um, multi-gesture synth and a fully programmable um, touch and gesture synth. Um, eight voice opolyphony. Um, it is not a UV free compliant, but um, actually to some extent that doesn't matter because in terms of what the performance you can create with it is absolutely fantastic. And the quality of sounds from the synth is really amazing in terms of uh, gaining that um, crispy, clear sound. So this is the first video in the series, so let's um, take things one step at a time and um, we will focus on an overview of the product to start with. Um, as you can see, um, a bit of an empty interface, but um, with some icons at the bottom here, you see the name of the patch which has been selected. Then you have things on the corners. So on the left, um, top left corner, you have these folder symbol. If you double click on it, you can have easy access to a list of patch by packs. And here we are in the pad packs and we have selected the A pad. So you click outside <coughs> or on the pad, sorry, to on the patch to uh, load that patch. On the top right at the moment, I have visibility for the record button. On the bottom right, if you double click again, you have visibility. It will give you visibility or access to the performance, the load and sharing of patches, the patch itself and additional settings. But let's focus first on the performance. So I'm going to play a little bit uh, the patches that um, I, uh, the patch that I've loaded and I will load a few more as well to give you an idea a little bit of what it sounds like. And I'm going to use my fingers for that. So as you can hear, very clear, uh, crispy sound, really, really nice. So let's double click um, to load another patch. So let's load this cabin in the woods. And this is one of my favorite one and you, because you can create some atmospheric effects as well. So as you can hear, very nice patch and probably you should uh, guess that there is also uh, the ability to run a sequencer as well. Uh, let's go back to the quick load of patches here. If you move to the left or right, you can access different packs, which is quite nice. So you have the 1.0 pack, you have the 2.0 pack, as well you have the multi-pack. The multi-pack is quite interesting because let's select the first one. It will split the screen into different uh, uh, sections and each section or, um, will have a different patch. As you can see here, yeah, you it will show you different names of patches based on uh, um, the um, different section. So, So really, really nice. Of course, if you use your fingers and uh, 10 fingers, which you can create a lot of touches on the screen, but it uses also <clears throat> a device motion controller. So it takes advantage of the position of the device. So it will use the accelerometer, the gyroscope, and even the compass. And there are indeed patches which will show you an arrow 
um, in the middle, which it will tell you also the position, um, which you can also reset as well. And, and so let's um, go back to uh, here on clicking on the bottom right. So as I mentioned, you can access the performance here. The second one is where you can access the load and share of um, patches. So for example, you can click on the all patches pack here, click a pad and it will load and it will load that patch. And here on the right hand side, you can see an overview of the patch name tags and at the bottom, the overview itself or how the patch has been created. This is where you can do patch management. If you uh, slide from the right to the left, you have access to the organizer and you can go inside each um, uh, pack, just clicking on the pack itself like that. Okay, and you can also further change the name or click outside to close them as well. Um, then next you have another um, screen which allows you to also share the patch. Um, interestingly, and um, let me load a patch which uh, um, I know that it has lost lots to show. So these are page unknown. If I go in patch mode, here is where on the left you see utility, so patch option, ability to transpose, configure configure your controllers, the triggers, etc. But on the right hand side you see how that patch has been created. So that you see the different touches at the top and you have a great selection of oscillator, FM oscillator, multiple oscillator, granular oscillation, noise, etc. But you have filters here different amplitude modules, group effect modules, etc, uh, etc, et down to even having sequencer. And if you double click on one module, it will open up um, the view of each modules. So here you can see, for example, the sequencer uh, module, which is really interesting. And then you can scroll up to see also all the other modules and all the details internally which is really nice, right to the very top, in this case, these oscillator A. And here you can see also that the nodes are driven by the sequencer, which is included in this patch. So it has a modular approach to the creation of patches. And this is where you configure also how in each settings on the different module you respond, will respond to um, touches on the screen. So that's really, really interesting. You can see even see here an arrow. So if you uh, swipe from the left, you have access to this quick performance window, which allows you to uh, quickly try the patch. And you can see in real time the changes uh, over here, in this case, for the note. So really quite cool, really well thought through. The settings here, uh, gives you the access to general settings where you can, for example, uh, set to run it in the background. You have access to the polyphony, uh, to display options, so uh, which are really nice, so uh, colors, so your help and about. So it is really, really a really nice multi gesture synth with a lot of possibility. So let me give you uh, more demonstration with other. Uh, patches. So let's um, choose, for example, um, let's go back again to the pod pack, which is uh, probably one of my favorite ones. So let's choose a few more uh, pads. So as you can hear, the sound is absolutely amazing. I talked about uh, recording. So here on the right uh, top part of the screen, you have this recording button. Again, double click on it to access the recording and uh, to stop the recording, to share it or play. And of course, if you play, you can record what you previously played. Okay. so. Uh, again, let's go back to a few more patches. Remember, you have always to double click on it, which is really good because it will not interfere when you use gesture and in your performance 
unless you coach you double click or double touch with your uh, for example for with your fingers but you can also use the pen as well so let's try this acoustic bass really nice let's go to the 2.0 pack let's choose something else for example let's choose this bubble swamp really really interesting again let's um, play with a couple of more patches to give you as much as I can in terms of an understanding of what this synth sounds like. Okay, let's try for example this drippy drug and um, I have not predetermined which patches to play so I'm just going randomly to give you a little bit of selection. So that's why the drippy drug name. So let's try let's try this ghost pad. So hopefully this is enough as an introductory video to give you a demonstration on how great this application is, particularly for uh, uh, the create uh, the creative mindset but also if you want to do something very quickly in terms of special effects uh, or special introduction to someone in your composition so great synth and um, i hope you enjoyed see you at the next video bye